BDO Auckland begins forensic audit investigation. The Minister of Finance, Lautimu Iawalese Va'ai, has confirmed that BDO Auckland has been awarded the contract and have begun the long-awaited forensic audit investigation into 13 government projects. BDO has a local counterpart office based at Lalubaya, but the Minister said that the company has brought their own team from New Zealand to conduct the investigation with the Ministry of Finance's internal audit on standby to assist with information needed. Lautimuia said the Ministry of Finance will not be involved in any way as the investigation has to be independent. There are 25 matters set down for the forensic investigation and 13 of these will be investigated by BDO. The company bid for what they can do in their capacity and resources but there has to be another open tender to continue the investigating of the remaining 12 matters and BDO can bid again for the job, said Lauti Muia. Three months is allocated for the forensic audit investigation, but it is subject to an extension if needed. He said the government allocated 1 million tala for the investigation and BDO's bid was between 600,000 tala and 700,000 tala. Lauti Muia emphasized the objective of the forensic audit is to clarify issues where illegal dealings may have allegedly occurred to improve the existing systems going forward. He said he is looking forward to the advice from the auditing team. Asked about the possibility of legal actions if the investigation turns up any illegal dealings, Lauti Muia said that would be up to the government if they wish to pursue it. The law is the law and if such issues arise from the investigation, then the Attorney General would advise but it depends on the government to pursue or not, said Lauti Muia. The projects for forensic audit phase one include the Tiavea Airport project, the 50 Tala stimulus for national ID, the Sheraton Hotel and Bungalow Sapia Beach Road, lease of the Samoa Airways aircraft, newly built prison at Tanumalala and Savai'i, SNPF new headquarters at Salilulonga Savai'i, new electoral office Mulinu'u, Samoa National Broadband Highway and School Net project, Underground Cabinet Network Arrangement, Satitoa Port and Wolf, Nafanua Patrol Boat Incident, Tax Invoice Monitoring System, Purchasing of the Ministry of Works Computers, Purchase of two vehicles for MESC, in Installment of Electricity to Falilatai and Samatau in 2019 to 2020, and Usage of EPC Funds for Election Campaign. The accountability for funds used by the former Prime Minister, Cabinet and the late Chief Justice under the Civil List Act, unforeseen and unauthorized funds under the Act, and tenders boards.